Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Easy Accounting Hub, make your study easy. This is the third video for journal entry class. And in my first and second video, I have explained about journal entries, how to journalize, what is journal and what is cash transactions and what is credit transactions and what is bank transactions and how to generalize cash trans transactions and bank transactions okay there i have uh, explained like cash when cash is coming into the business cash must be debited and when cash is going out we have to credit cash and same like bank and cash both are asset so when asset is increasing you have to debit it when asset is decreasing we have to credit it so whenever cash and bank is increasing we have to debit it when cash and bank is decreasing we have to credit it in my today's class i am going to explain regarding simple and compound journal entries simple and compound journal entries simple entry means the entries which are affecting only two accounts that is one debit and one credit example rent paid by cash so rent account debit to cash cash is going out so we have to credit it so rent account to cash salary paid by check so salary account debit bank is decreasing bank account credit so this is simple entries which is affecting only two accounts and one debit and one credit okay then in compound entries the 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 accounts there are many uh, there are many accounts are affecting it's like three debit two credits and opposite also it can be so uh, entries affecting more than two accounts are known as compound entries okay so i will teach you how to generalize this compound entries so simple and compound general entries so what is simple entry Simple entry means entries which are affecting only two accounts, one debit and one credit. That is simple entry. So simple entry means the entries which are affecting only two accounts, that is one credit and one debit, that is known as simple entry. Example, salary paid. So salary paid means cash is going out. So cash, in, cash you have to credit it. So salary account debit to cash then sales cash sales cash is coming inside the business so cash must be debited and sales credited so cash account to sales okay then compound entry means entries affecting two or more accounts entries are affecting two or more accounts so that is known as compound entry so there will be one or more account credited and two or more account debited it can be opposite also so one or more account credited and two or more account debited okay so that is compound entry so let's see one question purchased goods from sham for rupees 20,000 out of which goods of 12,000 were on credit which means we purchased the goods from sham total purchase cost is 20,000 out of which goods of rupees 12,000 on credit which means we are paying only 8,000 right now and balance 12,000 we are going to pay in a future date so that is credit this 12,000 is credit transaction and 8,000 is a cash transaction because we are paying on the right time so the entry will be cash is going out now when we are paying cash is going out so purchase account debit here goods is coming into the business so we have to debit asset increase we have to debit so purchase account this is expense so purchase account debit to cash we are paying 8000 and balance amount we are writing in shams account because it is payable in future so to sham account 12000 so this is the first entry see so this is see here one account is debited and two accounts are credited which means more than two accounts it will affect more than two accounts see there are three accounts now so that this is compound entry okay then sold goods to rahul for rupees 50000 check of rupees 26000 received immediately and then that check deposited in the same day okay so sold goods to rahul for 50000 
So, total sales is 50. Out of this, we are receiving check of 26,000. And so, that means this is cash transaction. We are getting its payment in the right time. And, uh, and the balance is credit transaction because we are going to get in a future date only. So, the balance amount, we will get it in a future date. So, here bank is increasing because we deposited the check in the same day. If we are not depositing in same day, we will uh, debit check in hand. But here we are deposit, uh, deposited already. So, bank account debit, we have to debit because bank is increasing 26,000. Then uh, the re receivable from Rahul 24,000. So, total sales 50,000. See, here this amount is a total of these two. So, for a joint compound entry, always the total of debit and credit will be equal. So, total of credit, we have to be very careful there. See here, 12 plus 8, 20. So, this is debit and these two are credit. So, it is tallying. So, in compound entries, total of debit and total of credit will be equal. Okay. So, uh, here sold goods to Rahul for 50,000. Out of this, we received 26,000 at the same time and balance in a future date. So, we received 26,000 and we deposited on the same day. That is why we debited bank account and Rahul account receivable. We mentioned that the sales total sales become 50,000. Okay. So, next entry is paid to Mohan rupees 9,500 in full settlement of his account of rupees 10,000. Which means payable to Mohan is 10,000. But we paid 9,500 and settled, which means Mohan given a discount to us for 500 rupees. So, payable to Mohan is 10,000 and we paid only 9,500 and settled, full settlement done, which means we got a discount from Mr. Mohan, we received a discount from Mohan. Okay, so how to generalize this? Actually, we payable to Mohan is 10,000. So, Mohan account debit, cash is decreasing because we are paying cash 9,500. So, to cash 9,500, balance 500 is discount received account 500. So, Mohan account debit 10,000 to cash account credit 9,500 to discount received 500. So, which means we paid only 9,500, we received a discount. So, it is credited and discount received is an income for us. So, it is, it must be credited. Okay. So, next received from Ram rupees 12,000 in cash and allowed him a discount of rupees 100. So, received from Ram 12,000, we received 12,000 rupees from Ram. So, cash is increasing. Okay, cash must be debited and allowed him a discount 100, which means receivable is total 12,100, uh, sorry, total 12,100 and we received 12,000. That means we allowed a discount to Ram, okay, you can pay 12,000, no need for uh, this 100, okay, that means we allowed a discount to him. Okay. So, cash account is debited 12,000 because we are actually receiving 12,000 and discount allowed debit to 100, uh, that is 100 to RAM 12,100. So, total receivable from RAM is 12,100. Out of this, we are, we are receiving 12,000 and discount we allowed a discount to him that is 100. So, that is discount allowed. So, discount received need to be credited and discount allowed is debited. Okay. On Jan 7th, paid salaries rupees 20,000, paid rent rupees 10,000, paid wages rupees 5,000. So, all these three, three transactions happened in Jan 7, January 7. So, we can write a uh, compound entry for this because in all these three cases, Cash is going out, paid salary, paid rent, paid wages. So, cash is going out. So, you, we have to credit total of these three transactions. So, we have to credit cash 5000 plus 20,000 plus 10,000, 35,000. Then, salary account debited. Then, pay, rent account need to debit. Then, wages also uh, debited. Then, salaries account debit, rent account debit, wages account debit to cash. 
So, always be careful total of debit equals total of credit. See, total of debit side all these are debit and this is credit. So, 20,000 plus 10,000 plus 5,000, 35,000. So, paid salary is 20,000, paid rent, paid wages. So, this is a compound entry for this. Okay. Last one, goods costing 5,000 and rup cash rupees 4,000 took for personal purpose. So, the owner took 5,000 co goods costing 5,000 goods, then cash rupees 4,000 for personal purpose. So, whenever the owner is taking for personal purpose, we, uh, we can call it as drawings, okay. Drawings account must be debited and goods is decreasing and cash also decreasing because he is taking and going cash, okay. So, drawings account debit to purchase. We have to reduce purchase because when we are purchasing goods, we are debiting purchase. Here, when the owner is taking goods, purchase, uh, we have to credit purchase account for reducing stock. Okay, so purchase account credit to cash account credit. So, see both, uh, both sides are tallying this is debit 9000 and credit side 5 plus 4. Okay, so these are compound entries. So, this is compound entries. I have explained only few examples here, but we have to study many examples that I will teach in coming videos. Okay, before watching this, please watch my journal entry first video and second video, video that will be helpful for to study easily. Okay, I will be coming with a new topic in my next video that is GST that is goods and service tax. I will teach you how to generalize the entries with GST. Okay, hope you all understood this class very well. If you like my video, please like, share and subscribe. And if you have any comments or suggestion, please uh, comment it in comment box. Thank you for watching. Thank you all.